All right, for this first trial run, I used sheetrock, uh, lightweight setting, uh, Easy Sand 20. Uh, a comparable product is also the Dura Rock uh, pr uh, product as well. Uh, both of these uh, products can uh, be used. It is extremely lightweight because it's gypsum, and to strengthen up, there's a product out by Golden that will help increase the uh, the strength. Uh, also, I did try a Quick Crete. Um, acrylic fortifier that uh, I think both of those are comparable I also use uh, fiber tape which is like a, a mesh a type of a mesh I've yet to try spider lath with it but I'm going to do that as well and I'll give you the update on that when that happens and I also used uh, one cup of fiber half inch microfibers and mix that into the overall uh, mixture so that's the best I can do with the sheetrock. Uh, I have not added any lightweight aggregate. I also used PAM uh, as a release agent. So that was the first step. Lightly tag the, the entire molds uh, with the PAM. This worked really, really well. There's any vegetable oil or sprayable type of vegetable oil. You don't need a lot of material on it. I added my five quarts of water. Uh, for the entire 20 pound bag and I added a full quart of the plaster additive of the acrylic fortifier from Golden. After this was mixed up thoroughly uh, I began to uh, uh, well let me put it to you this way I, I, I added extra water in another batch uh, to try to make it a self leveling don't do that uh, because you know what, it's it, the more water that you add to this product, the weaker it's going to get, and that's true with most mixes. So, don't add more water to make it self-leveling. It's going to be kind of like a a warm, uh, like 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 warm like a warm ice cream. Just kind of pour it into the into the mold, and then come back, and then take a chip brush and work it in, and then screed it off with like a, a straight edge or something. If you add the fiber tape afterwards uh, and just trowel the fiber tape on top of the mold uh, into this uh, particular mix, it should hold fairly well. Once again, though, the demolding process, uh, you have to be very, very, very gentle because the nature of the, these tapering molds, uh, it, is, it is just very sensitive, so you can't really, you can't really uh, get on it too, too much. So here I'm just uh, illustrating taking the chip brush and just kind of working it into the mold and that reduces uh, the air bubbles. Finish it off, uh, pour a little bit more on there on the top to fill it in then take a straight, straight edge and go across it. I also took a rubber mallet and I beat the edges uh, just to kind of get all the material settled into place. This also helps against air bubbles as well.